so I just wanted to quickly share this link with you for this um, meat subscription program that I belong to called Butcher Box. Um, this is not a sponsored video, but their meat is such good quality that I just wanted to share my referral code with you. And one of the things that I love about them is that their chicken, they have organic free range chicken, 100% grass fed beef, their pork is humanely raised, and their seafood, they have wild caught seafood. You just go in, you just adjust your package according to your liking, and then also again, they have referral codes, so when you refer someone and they refer someone and each time they purchase, that's $30 towards your next purchase. So I just wanted to share that with you. I have some minced garlic in the jar. I have some mustard. We're going to be using some of this uh, Worcestershire sauce. Then I have some honey barbecue, some Slap Your Mama. Then I'm going to be using some of this Memphis style barbecue seasoning. I picked this up, I believe, from the dollar uh, twenty-five tree when it was a Dollar Tree. Um, so I also have some onion powder, black pepper. Uh, I have some garlic powder, and then for color, I have paprika. I'm going to add some brown sugar to my recipe, and then I have some uh, three uh, bell peppers here that I don't want to go bad, so I'm going to dice those up and add those to the uh, pot as well. And then in the corner, I just have my crock pot. Okay, so I'm going to off camera just go ahead and dice my peppers and get my chicken nice and clean and then I'll pop it in and we'll get started with cooking this delicious uh, pulled chicken. Okay so now I have my meat nice and washed and clean so I'm going to start loading my ingredients into my crock pot starting with the chicken and then after that, in no particular order, just go in and um, add the seasonings of your choice. Now I'm just going to give this a nice little stir. 
mix it up real well. Alright family, so I needed to pop back in because I forgot to add my brown sugar. So I'm going back in and adding about two tablespoons of the uh, brown sugar to the pot. Then I'll mix that up and then we'll continue on with the cooking process. See, sometimes you just, you, you just forget things. Okay, family, so it is the next day, and uh, chicken has been cooking overnight on low for now it's about um, eight hours. And so this is how the chicken looks. It's nice and tender. And I can literally just go in with my tongue and just break it up. Literally just break it up, it's so tender. Alright, so this is how it looks. So using my fork, I'm just going to shred it. And look how look how easily it just falls apart. Nice and tender, smells so good. To this one, you all. Okay. Now, just mix that around real quick. Let's get ready to um, make our sandwich. Okay, so my um, bun of choice is uh, Rijo. So I've been having this pan heat up on the stove. I didn't add anything to it. I'm just going to take the bare buns and lay them in here and allow them to um, become a little brown.
here we have our pulled barbecue chicken sandwich and I just paired it with some chips. Use any chips of your choice. But there we have it, fam. Look at that. Mm. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share, like, comment below. And uh, I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Bye.